but it's really, it's really fresh flower. I could just sit and smell that for a long time. It's beautiful. Mm. The sort of floral characters of. Amazing length and aftertaste. Oh, yeah. mm. It's absolutely, it's beautifully defined. On the nose, it's got the floral and the yellow plums, and then, and then, and the aftertaste is just amazing. Mm. Yeah. And the oak's not overdone. There's, there's a bit of new wood, <coughs> a bit of old wood, but it hasn't been kept in for too long. And you're just left with this amazing. Mm. All the flavours you've got on the nose mm. and the palate, yeah. with the the oak and the spice, just goes on and on. And on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what we're saying is, we're, 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 as we've started on the Mercer, we'll do the Mercer next. Um, and for me, obviously, we tried a few Mercer's yesterday. For me, Mercer, mm. the characteristic of Mercer is that mealy oatmeal character and a touch of dried apricot, dried white fruit sometimes, like sort of a bit of dried pear mm. um, and apricot. So a combination of oatmeal. The horse porridge oak character, oatmeal and dried oak, got those sorts of as opposed to the more floral yellow plum notes I, I get on Chasselin. And, and I, I do find that if you line, if you've got good examples of these, you can line them up and just sort them out easily. Mm -hmm. um, and Pouligny is somewhere in the middle, but a little bit more lemony, a bit more, depending on which Premier Cru vineyard, but somewhere in the middle. So this has got much more, compared to the most of we had last night, it's got much more weight, much more richness, mm. more fruit, more concentration. Can you tell if there was a hurricane and had to you know, back down the hatches and stay down here for a while? That's alright, we'll put cans. Sure. <laughs> and that's got that combination of the a bit of buttered, it was almost, it was almost a buttered toast mm. character mm. in the oak, mm. and a vanilla and a touch of almost nutmeg, and a, little, so a bit of cinnamon almost in the middle of it, mm. with the dried apricot and the, the oat mealiness, and then that was just again amazing length and aspect. Mm. If you go That's back it. to the chassagne, you know, you can see it more than those. Mm. The chassagne has got. I keep banging on about the floral notes and the yellow plums, mm. and that's the difference on the nose for me between the, between the two. Thanks very much. So, so keep, mm -hmm. keep the chef under your left hand glass. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know for yourself, so I can't really see which one's got the wines in. So, this is pretty neat. Thank you. You're, You're right up for that. I need one more glass. And uh, that's, that's me. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what? Chef sign your left glass and put it in the other one. Mm -hmm. oh, it's cold. You can just go. Merde. Yeah, Joe. Yeah. 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 The Pouligny? Yeah. Uh, the Follatier. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh, Parma. <laughs> Parma, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. And that's if you want a cooked wine to show someone, that's a classic. That's a classic, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's what a cooked wine smells like. <laughs> that's what's a very, very expensive white burgundy cork smells like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. As you say, it's a bummer. Yeah, it is. Because <laughs> that's 26 euros ex works. Gosh. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Scoop hat, bring it on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely right. I mean, that's something to rinse those glasses.